what is going on guys? Today is an exciting day because I came across what apparently is the cheapest and easiest way to make your C6 Corvette faster. Too good to be true? We'll find out. Now when I say cheapest, this little part is for sale, is on sale currently, I think for $99. So under a hundred bucks, you're gonna make your C6 faster. That's crazy. as bad as they are in the rear it's hard to lay in the second gear and really tell how the car is doing just because it, it breaks them loose so easily um, but it feels snappy I honestly I can't imagine the throttle being more responsive than what it is right now but you know I'm used to cars with a similar system where the computer controls the throttle input right this the drive by wire accelerate by wire so coming from the most recent vehicle that I've had which was the uh, 2015 infinity q50 same thing again that drive by wire you mash the pedal there's a little bit of a delay now it's an automatic of course so it's a little bit different but even in manual mode uh, you mash the pedal and it takes a little while to ramp up and that's kind of a known thing with infinity too that it does take a while for that throttle body to open fully you have the floor the, the pedal matted to the floor but the throttle body isn't responding like you want it to you know in a performance setting they do it for various reasons uh, safety fuel economy whatever the case may be i guess you know preventing people from getting themselves into trouble in a car like this with corvette where you know you have a hundred percent throttle response immediately uh, there could be a lot more people than there already are going into telephone poles and trees but it, it feels pretty responsive to me okay we'll do second gear again here i mean it feels pretty damn responsive to me all right third gear we'll do just to give us a little better feel here but it just kind of feels like you know we're out of the power band so I, it's it's tough I, I don't know what to expect second again rolling 2500 rpm just brake loose needs tires really bad So I'm really excited about this one. And what we have is the red light bandit throttle booster for the C6 and C7 Corvette. Does not work for the 2005. Um, but let's take a gander at this thing. This is pretty slick. You guys probably know CNS Corvette. Um, check out the YouTube channel. That's where I ordered this from. Limited time only, I believe, 99 bucks. I think the original $200 or something like that. So uh, this is a hell of a deal. So what you get in the box is this sort of uh, three connector, triple connector wire harness. And you'll see how that comes into play here in a moment. They give you a zip tie, that's handy, because you'll need to zip tie the actual module out of the way so it doesn't bang around underneath there or get in the way of your foot or whatever. So this basically clips into the end of this wire harness. Perfect. And then this goes in between the wire harness for the, the throttle and the throttle pedal itself. So we'll go through the installation process and then we'll get the car out on the road and test it. But pretty quick and easy installation. We'll zip tie it up and out of the way. We'll see what that looks like, uh, you know, underneath the dashboard. But this thing is apparently really awesome. Uh, I've gotten some really good reviews from it uh, uh, on the CNS Corvette channel. Uh, Lyle talks about how good it actually is and it does indeed work. Uh, I'm not usually a big fan of throttle boosters or throttle controllers. I just, you just don't think they work necessarily. And you'd really, I don't know, I've had trouble trusting them. Uh, but this one had such good reviews, I thought I would try it out. So essentially what it does is it tricks your computer or it just makes your computer what you want it to do, basically. So when you put 100% throttle, those throttle bodies generally open up a little slower. They don't give you 100% throttle instantly like that. And that's what we want. That's what we want out of our Corvette. It's a performance sports car. So you put this in line here. When we put 100% throttle input, we're going to actually get 100% throttle, 100% throttle response. So it might make a big difference. Uh, we also got new tires going on the car tomorrow. So this is ideal time to test it out just because we're going to actually have some grip. Uh, I'm pumped to get this thing installed. Let's do it. Let's get under the dashboard of the car 
uh, get this sucker installed and test her out. Let me tell you what I suspect out of this thing. Uh, am I a little bit of a doubter? Yes, absolutely. I tend to be a little bit suspicious of these throttle boosters, these throttle controllers. They just seem to be a little bit too good to be true. But what I, what I would expect, I think, is that people with automatic transmission vehicles will notice the difference a little bit more than those with manual transmission cars. With, with an automatic car, you just seem to be out of the power band. So when you floor it, you know, you're, you're kind of experiencing a little bit of a lag anyway because of the downshift and things like that, unless you're in manual mode, of course, but just automatic mode, you just, you're not really in that power band. So I'd imagine if there's any, if the throttle booster works at all, like it is supposed to and gets you that more automatic throttle response, you're going to feel it in the seat of your pants a little bit more. In a manual transmission car, it seems like we get ourselves in the power band, you know, we downshift ourselves. Now we're waiting for that response. And if it's not significant, we're not gonna necessarily feel it because we already have the RPM in, in the range where, where we're getting, you know, sort of that maximum torque. But we shall see, we shall see. I figured $99, it was worth picking it up and, uh, providing some content for the community. There's not a lot of demonstrations or a lot of testing videos out there for these throttle commanders uh, like this red light bandit. So uh, the road's drying up. Let's get it installed in the C6, get the car on the road and see if this thing works like it's supposed to. over here by the little vent. Accomplish this here. Just actually zip tied the cable up a little bit and then use some two sided tape on the back of the module itself and on that little metal rail up there, stuck it up there. So it should be up and well out of the way of the throttle pedal. And we'll be able to put the, the plate up here via a little shroud or whatever with no problem.
Now you're gonna need to be a little bit limber or have a, a small child available to help you get under the dashboard there. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but uh, you can do it. Again, I'm a little bit skeptical, admittedly so, but they say even that you should take this car out now after installing this module in practice or get used to it in, a, in an uncrowded area before you take it into heavy traffic. So apparently it's a pretty significant change. So let's get it up and see what's up. There shouldn't be any warning lights. Okay, just trying to drive around a little bit, get the oil up to temperature, um, get the car warmed up before I really get after it. Everything seems to feel not normal in terms of just driving around. I really want, got to get those brakes done. I really want to feel a difference. I really do. So, let's see. Finally got some decent tires on this thing. They're cold though, they're cold. The road is cold, so I don't have any expectations right now. shift but they hooked in second those old tires just burn right off in second gear second gear here Okay, well, I can feel something. I, I do feel a difference. Unfortunately, it's not the difference that I was hoping I would feel. The difference I can notice is between shifts. So when you go first to second, it's when you get on the throttle into second gear, you can feel that is more of a, an instantaneous sort of uh, punch in the throttle. But I don't feel, I don't feel more acceleration necessarily. I suppose because the throttle seems to be responding more instantaneously, you know, immediately after a shift, I suppose you could technically be going faster, but I, I was anticipating like, you know, what you hear is that you feel the throttle immediately. Um, and again, maybe it's because we're already in the power band in a manual transmission vehicle, uh, but I just don't feel the power. You just feel the car reacting to the throttle sooner or more instantly, more instantaneously after you complete the shift, if that makes any sense. So as I said before, and I've heard other people say it too, I, I couldn't imagine the C6 being any more responsive than it already was. The, the throttle was, was pretty snappy. I didn't really have any complaints with this car. All I can say is that I should probably drive it for another week or two like this and then uninstall this module and see how the car feels. If it feels a little doggy, then sure, maybe it made a difference. But really all I can notice at this point is that uh, the throttle response immediately after a shift. And, and that's really it. Just the regular driving or accelerating on the highway or, you know, or, or rolling into second gear and then, then punching it, uh, really don't feel all that much difference at all. So uh, right now at this point, only after driving on it for an hour or two, uh, is it worth it? Uh, I would say if it was $200, I would say no. I could certainly live without it. Uh, for 99 bucks though, uh, it was worth a try. That's all I can say. Is it a night and day difference? No, it's not a night and day difference at all. Uh, very subtle difference, if, if any whatsoever, other than what I've described here. So uh, that's my perspective now at this point. But uh, of course, we'll, we'll follow up with this in, in a couple of weeks or, or so and, and uh, see if anything is different. But for now, link in the description below if you're interested in trying this out for yourself. Uh, check it out. I think they may be out of stock at this point, but just keep it in mind going forward. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them. Uh, get to every single one of them as quickly as I possibly can. So let me know if there's anything I can answer for you as far as this module goes. Otherwise, I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks very much for the support. See you in the next one.